This is a cinnamon plant nursery. Cinnamon is a fascinating plant. It's known for its aromatic bark, which is used to make the popular spice. We are going to talk about this related cinnamon oil product. It is extracted from the bark of the cinnamon tree, as well as from the cinnamon leaves. We are now going to show about the extraction of cinnamon leaf oil. Shown here is the mine where bundles of cinnamon leaves are gathered. This appears to be a cinnamon oil factory. This is used for the extraction of cinnamon leaf oil. Cinnamon bark can also be used for oil production here. Unlike cinnamon bark oil, cinnamon leaf oil is produced from the leaves of C. verum, which are frequently harvested at the end of each rainy season. The leaves are stripped from the branches and allowed to dry for a couple of days before distillation, as this can reduce the distillation time. Large wooden kettles that can hold up to 200 kilograms, 400 pounds, of dried leaves are traditionally used for distilling the leaves. Some farmers turn to more contemporary techniques of steam distillation using either copper or stainless steel stills because this labor-intensive process can take up to 12 hours to complete. This is the oil refining process you will see. Because the density of oil is high, oil will settle under water. This refers to cinnamon oil extracted from cinnamon leaves and bark. Cinnamon leaf essential oil's clove-like smell is due mainly to the phenol eugenol, 68.6-87.0%. Whereas cinnamaldehyde is present in trace amounts, 0.61.1%. Lawrence, 1979p. 29, 1995 GP. 148, p. 201 in Tisserand and Young, 2014. In fact, one could say that the proportions of these two constituents are reversed in these two essential oils. It is intriguing that two essential oils produced from the same plant, but from different plant parts, can vary so much. Because of its high phenol content, cinnamon leaf essential oil chemically resembles clove bud oil, and therefore they share therapeutic properties. Cinnamon leaf essential oil has a moderate risk of skin sensitization, mostly due to its eugenol content, and also a low risk of mucous membrane irritation. Tisserand and Young, 2014, state that the maximum dermal use is 0.6%, around 12 drops in 100 milliliters of carrier oil.